Hey everyone, Mr. W here. Today's lesson is on long division. Division is when you have a greater number and you want to take that greater number and divide it into smaller but equal groups. In this case, three equal groups. Long division is when we're using the long division brackets to show our work. Three digit by one digit means that we're dividing three digit numbers by one digit numbers. And with remainders means that sometimes you will have numbers that are left over uh, when you do a problem. Okay, our vocabulary, let's start with our dividend. That is the big number in the brackets, and that is the number that we're going to divide into equal groups. The five on the left is the divisor, and that's the number of equal groups that we need for this particular problem. The answer is called the quotient, and that goes on top, and that shows how many are in each group. Our main focus today is the five steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat if needed. And we don't always have to use every single step, but this particular lesson, we will. So let's start with our first step for 426 on the screen divided by five. We start with divide. When we divide, we go digit by digit from left to right. So in other words, we're gonna start with the four and ask yourself, how many groups of five can we get from four? The answer to that is zero, and that zero goes right on top of the four. Now, if you're not sure why we got zero, let's just look at a model. If you had four Skittles, can you get five Skittles from that? No, because there's only four. So that's why we have a zero up there, okay? So digit by digit, now we go over to the two, but we're really looking at the 42, okay? So ask yourself, how many groups of five can we get from 42? Well, we definitely can get groups of five from that, and that's eight. Let me show you why. If we had 42 uh, Skittles, right? We could get one group, two, three, four, five, six, seven, total of eight groups of five. And we also have two left over that we'll, uh, we'll look at in a second, okay? Our next step is to multiply. We're going to multiply the divisor, which is five, times our quotient of eight. So five times eight equals 40. That 40 goes underneath the 42. And now we're ready for our next step, which is to subtract. 42 minus 40 is two. And you might remember at the bottom there, we did have that two left over. So that kind of is showing uh, why that is there, okay? Then we're going to bring down that six, okay? And now we're ready to repeat all of those first four steps that we did before. So our first step is to divide. Remember, we're done with those numbers at the top, okay, for right now. So what we're going to divide is ask yourself, how many groups of five can we get from 26? That answer would be five. And I can show that with the models with 26 uh, Skittles, right? Uh, one group of five, two, three, four, five groups. That's where we got that five. And notice that there's one left over, right? Okay. Next, we're going to multiply the divisor of five times our quotient of five. Remember, just the five, not the 85. Five times five equals 25. That 25 goes below the 26. And now we're ready to subtract. 26 minus 25 is one, and there's nothing else to bring down. Remember that one is our one left over, right? That's called the remainder. So because we have no other numbers to bring down, that's gonna go at the top. And when you write your final answer, you would write it as 85 R1, or in other words, 85 with a remainder of one. And that's our answer for that. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to pause and give this one a try. Don't forget your steps to divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. So pause, and then we'll look at it together. Okay, how did you do? Let's start with our step to divide. Remember, we're going to go digit by digit from left to right. So how many groups of five can we get from six? And the answer to that is one. I'm not going to use models for this one, okay? 
Our next step is to multiply. We're going to multiply the divisor times the quotient. In other words, 5 times 1, right, equals 5. And that 5 goes underneath the 6. Now we subtract. 6 minus 5 is 1. Now we're ready to bring down the next digit, which is going to be that 2. And that gives us 12. And we're ready now to repeat. We're done with that other part that we just X'd out. We're ready to repeat. Otherwise, uh, in otherwise means we're going to start with the divide. All right, divide. How many groups of 5 can we get from 12? The answer to that is 2. Now we multiply. We're going to multiply our divisor times the quotient. In other words, 5 times 2 is 10. That 10 goes underneath the 12. And now we're ready to subtract. 12 minus 10 is 2. And now step 4, we're ready to bring down. And we have that 7 still, right? We're going to bring down and repeat all those steps over again. Okay? All right. We're ready to divide again. In this case, we're going to say, how many groups of 5 can we get from 27? Well, that would be 5. Now we multiply our divisor times our quotient. Or in other words, 5 times 5 equals 25. The 25 goes under the 27. We're ready to subtract. 27 minus 25 is 2. We don't have anything else to bring down for this problem, so that 2 becomes our remainder. And when we write our final answer, don't forget to put your R, okay? So this would be 125 with the remainder of 2. Well, if you made it this far, great job. Thank you, and I appreciate it. Keep practicing, and we hope to see you on the next one.